Not now, she thinks. The door creaks loudly as it swings open. Her eyes are closed, but she squeezes them tighter. She wanted to go back to her nightmare. It was so much better there. Evening out her breathing, she hopes you believe she is still asleep. His steps are muffled by the plush carpet as he walks closer to the bed. She feels him peer down at her. His hand reaches out and brushes the hair away from her eyes. She flinches and he notices. Mama? With a single word, she has no choice. She sits up on her elbow and peers at him, bleary-eyed. Yes? It's time for breakfast. He says, smiling at her. Trying to make her mind work right, she glances around the room for the clock on the wall. It's 7 a.m. Somehow she had slept for three hours, although her body could barely feel the difference. As she followed him down the hall and into the bright kitchen, she tried hard not to see her surroundings. She trailed behind him, her slippered feet sticking slightly to the floor in places where a tacky brown paste spread out from Sarah's room and across the hall floor. Soon after, he sat at the breakfast bar, his small legs dangling beneath him. His face turned up to her as, as she laid the plate in front of him. I, I don't think... I don't think I can do much more. She said to him shakily. That's okay, Mommy. When I'm done with you, I'll go next door. He smiled at her sweetly as tears streamed down her mangled face. Her eye, her hand shook as she took up the knife again. Please don't, she said to him. Mommy, don't be silly. I'm still hungry. As he spoke, she felt her hand move again. She tried once to resist, to stop it, to will her muscles to listen to her. But it was useless, and the knife slid across her other cheek. <laughs>